everybody what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Madison and you should definitely click that little red subscribe button down below so in today's video I'm going to be talking to you all about a life update dash what the Disney college program is really like I ran a poll on my Disney Instagram asking what video you guys wanted to see and this was the number one so here I am to talk to you about what the Disney college program is really like now to start off you're probably looking at me and wondering, why are you wearing a hat? Why does your face look like a tomato? And why is your hair a rat's nest? Well, to stick with the theme of this video, I'm going to show you what I really like. I actually just got off work, go figure. It was about 84 degrees today. I was working at the flagpole in Magic Kingdom with Pluto. So as you can imagine, there was a lot of sun and I was sweating a lot and it was humid. So hence my hair, my face, and the reason why I'm wearing this hat is because I was wearing this beauty at work and I didn't want to wear this in the video. So I'm sporting my OU hat per usual. And also my um, sunscreen did not hold. So that is why I am looking like a ripe tomato. Before I get started with this video, I just want to say that I love the Disney College program. I love everything that Disney stands for as a company. This is in no way, I'm literally not going to say anything negative. This is just about my experiences. And as usual, I have a list of things on my phone because I cannot keep a list in my brain to save my life. So if I am looking down, it's at my phone. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know this, but I have been accepted to extend my Disney College program all the way through July 26th. My original departure date was May 17th, but now I will be here until July 26th. I am still a character attendant and I will still be in my same location at Animal Kingdom. So I'm super excited about that. I didn't want to make a separate video on it because it just would have like drug on, but here we are. Hope you guys are excited. I'm super stoked. The first thing that I do want to clear up, and I'm sure that everybody who requested this video kind of knew that this was coming, but I want to address what I really do. So I don't just gallivant in the parks every day and literally every person the DCP can vouch for this. A lot of people will see videos on YouTube or pictures on Instagram or posts on Twitter, Facebook, etc., of us playing in the parks and having dining reservations and having all this fun, which it is really fun and we do actually do that. But for me, at least I know, and I can speak for my roommates as well, that is maybe once or twice a week. I only have, I usually have two days off, but usually during those two days off, I'm wanting to go get groceries, get laundry, sleep, because I work early mornings a lot. It is not like that. A lot of the pictures that I post on Instagram are from weeks before. In fact, whenever I came to the college program in the first few weeks, I knew that I wanted to get all of the stuff done like on my bucket list, I guess you could say, before this point in time. It's now spring break, March-ish. So I knew that by this time I would just be out and I wouldn't be able to go to the parks after work or before work. So here we are, I was right. I can't, I can't do that anymore. I'm just, I'm so tired mentally and physically, especially with my role mentally, you're dealing with guests all day and they're asking you, where's the best place to eat? And like asking directions and stuff, which is all fine. Like, don't get me wrong. Guest interaction is one of my favorite parts of the job, but it is very mentally exhausting because you're talking all day and have to be very quick on your feet all day. And the physical side of that is that you are standing from about eight to 12 hours a day, which you do have breaks. So don't be afraid, you do get breaks. You get like two breaks and then a lunch, so you're good. But you are standing a lot and you are walking back and forth a lot depending on your location and what character you're with. So just keep that in mind. Those two things combined is just you're really, really tired by the end of the day. Before I came to the program, I was going to bed at like one to two every night. Now being here, I'm usually showered and in bed if my schedule allows me to be by nine or 10. And then I'm asleep by 1030. So just take that how you will. The next thing I want to address is being lonely and I don't this isn't like depressing like it's not like that but one thing that I thought coming into my program was that since my roommate Lexi you guys know her she's in my videos and on my Instagram but um, my roommate Lexi we are both status in animal kingdom she's attractions I am in entertainment or as a character attendant which you all know we were under the impression that we would be working a lot of the same hours just because animal kingdom is only open like obviously a certain amount of time, but it does close earlier than the other parks because of the animals. But we have found out very quickly that she is usually scheduled evening shifts. So like 3.45 until like 12 or one. And I'm 
obviously morning or all day, so nine to five. And by doing the math, we maybe cross paths for an hour if I come home around four and she is a shift around like six, maybe. But we don't see each other. And that's the same for me and my other roommates. Caroline and Sarah work in attractions at Magic Kingdom. So Sarah works Peter Pan and Small World and then Caroline works Splash Mountain. They kind of have the same hours, but not really. So they probably see each other the most out of everybody, I would say. And then Julia and Elena both are in food. Yeah, food. So Julia is a seater at Skipper Cantina Magic Kingdom. So her hours are kind of the same as Sarah and Caroline's, but not because they close before park close. And it's just, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm trying to think on my feet. And then Elena is in a resort. She's at Port Orleans Riverside. So her hours are very different. And I think most of the time she is working like five to midnight or five to 11. So we are on very, very different schedules. And for me, since they're all working late evenings, I'll come home and nobody's here, which again, isn't an issue. I don't mind it. It's sometimes nice to have a long time, but it's like days and days on end. And I personally don't like working night shifts and I'm not scheduled them, so it isn't a problem. But it's just like, where's my friends? Like, where are they? And a lot of my friends who are either like attendants at Animal Kingdom or friends who I've met on the Facebook page or just in work or whatever, they're working too and we're all on different schedules. So for me, that is a real thing is just being, I wouldn't even say lonely. That's not even the thing is just, you need to kind of wrap your mind around the fact that if you are in a completely different line of business than your roommates or your friends, your hours are going to be very, very different and you will not see them as much as you would think. Another thing that hits you hard while you are on the Disney college program is FOMO. If you're like me, I, am very close with my friends at my school and also back home and my family obviously i had a lot of fomo which is fear of missing out my um sorority had their formal this spring which like seeing all those pictures i was like oh that's i miss them i miss that um my roommates from back home went to cancun for spring break obviously i couldn't leave i'm here working so this is my spring break which again isn't a problem but it's just like miss y'all like miss you guys a lot and then just stuff going on at home with my family and birthdays and holidays easter's coming up i won't be able to go home for easter so i'm pretty sure if you sign up for the disney college program especially in fall because i feel like that's when it hits you hardest i'm not gonna be doing fall nor did i consider it but you have to consider that you'll be missing probably thanksgiving christmas i think new year's maybe halloween which again it's not really like holiday but anyways that's one thing that will hit you hard is just like, I guess, homesickness and just missing your friends and your family. It hasn't hit me as hard as I thought it would just because here you're so busy and you are literally always doing something. You don't really have time to think about being homesick unless you really, really, really think about it. But again, I don't really have time because I'm up at the crack of dawn and I'm just grinding and working and rallying all day. It's great, but just know if you're coming to the college program and you are still in school or you're really close with your family or friends from back home, you will have fear of missing out and you will be homesick. Another thing is I've kind of talked about this a little bit, but early mornings, I talk about this a lot just because I feel like it's important to know if you're gonna be a character attendant, you will be working mornings. Some early, like this morning, I, I got up at I think 5.15 because my shift started. I think I had to be clocked in by 7.15. Other mornings, it's like 10 or nine. But for me, I always wake up two hours early so I can get ready and eat breakfast and just have a good start to my morning. If you're like that, you probably will get up two hours early. If you're not, then you probably won't. But that's just something I figured I'd throw in here because it's not glamorous at all. It's early and you will be really tired. One of the last things I kind of want to touch on is getting paid. That is, this is, this is a touchy subject, but when you get paid coming in, obviously, you know, for me, I get uh, paid $10 an hour. I don't know what it's like for other lines of business. I don't know if it's different or more or less, not sure. But for me, I get paid $10 an hour. So in theory, you're like, okay, if I work, 40 hours a week, I will get paid $400. Yes, you are correct. But did you take into account taxes? Because I sure as heck didn't. So for my taxes getting taken out, I think it's like the government, I don't know. But uh, I think mine is like $70 a week that gets taken out by taxes. So then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, like I still have money left. Like it's totally fine. 
is it though? Because you have to pay for housing. And what's nice about Disney College program is they take out the housing already from your paycheck. So when you get your paycheck, it's already like deducted, if that makes sense. So what you see on your pay stub is what was taken out from housing and taxes. So if I work like, 40 hours a week in my mind i'm like 400 dollars hot psych i'm not getting paid 400 dollars i you, i think my biggest paycheck so far has been 300 dollars i don't know i have worked overtime i don't I, I don't know how things work i get really confused when i look at my pay so i'm like oh okay but overtime does add up and also um just hours obviously will add up so just take that into consideration because before I came here everyone was like oh how much are you gonna get paid and I was like $10 an hour I'm making 400 big ones a week no you're making like 230 290 you're chilling you're balling on a budget and that's one thing that I've had to learn is that you truly are balling on a budget like what you get for that week you get for the week and you're probably thinking again wow like 230 dollars like for a week and you get paid like that's a lot of money well when you want to like go do all this character dining and you have to get groceries and get gas for your car and get like merchandise and all this stuff it's really not that much money if you connect your car to your magic band like i did for like two days you will literally blow your paycheck if you're in the parks probably within those two days like i'm not speaking from experience or everything it's totally fine but i would just advise you not to do that because when you just have that band and you're just beep scan oh no it's on my band it's fine it's not gonna be good for you well that is it for this video i just wanted to kind of touch on some subjects about the disney college program again i love it here i am so content I am so happy that I came. Obviously, I'm extending. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't be extending. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video, and I hope this kind of gave you more of a glimpse into what I do or to what you may be doing when you come to the Disney College program, which you totally should. I totally, totally support you. Definitely come. If you're one of my friends or family watching this who wanted me to see this video, I hope that this helped y'all out in knowing kind of the, sh not, sh I wouldn't even, because they're not struggles. I mean, they kind of are. But I hope that this kind of helped you guys out and gave you a look into what I do on a daily basis or what I deal with on a daily basis. If y'all have any more questions, please let me know. I would love to do a part two to this video. I will see y'all next time. Bye. I love you, 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 I love you.